Hello Pisces, welcome back to Intuitive Energies, this is your extended. So, thank you so much for being here. If you want to support my channel, there are different ways in the description box, PayPal, Patreon, affiliate links, Etsy, and as always, you can just subscribe, hit that notification bell to all, and as well, hit that like button, okay? If you're a fan, please hit that like button before you take off, that'd be great. Leave a comment if you want. I am running a giveaway that is in previous videos if you want to figure out what that is and enter. That's great. Nine of Cups. Yeah. Happiness, joy, contentment, personal blessings coming true. Absolutely. My giveaways make me feel that way too. <laughs> I've just ordered a bunch of stuff. Uh, I'm going to start putting those things. Um, I'm going to let you know what you're going to get in your giveaway with Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. The goodies. But you will be personally getting, okay? All right, spirit. We're talking about my giveaways. <laughs> yes, it's time to move on. Absolutely. Okay, so this morning we were talking about different perspective, what we were looking at, what's going on with that, and yeah, five of cups, okay? It's kind of taking a bit of a look back as well, as they're saying, the Five of Swords. It's uh, the conflict that we see was it really conflict, okay? To us, what's conflict, to others is a victory. And that's always been since the beginning of time, okay? This is the Five of Cups, not the Five of Swords. But I'm reading for the Five of Swords, so in my mind, okay? So there's sadness, loss, and hurt, but they're also talking about... Uh, it just adjusting emotionally to past losses, okay? By seeing perspective of, the, of other people, um, you might actually be able to go back in time and look at past things that have gone by and see if it's a matter of perspective, okay? That is what uh, is coming through right now. And again, I'm not saying to reconnect with people who have been hurtful to you. This is all a matter of perspective, okay? This is the magic of seeing everybody's point of view, whether you agree with it or not, to letting it in, okay? It's like that grateful thing that I tell you to write in the comment section. You're not just saying the words of, no, I don't agree with you which on the level is a gut reaction, okay, knee-jerk reaction to something you don't agree with, then there's a further question. Why don't I agree with it? And then that's when you have to go in deep, okay? I just want you to realize why you disagree, or at least Spirit wants you to realize why you disagree with things. Go further. Figure out why. Is it a sense of belief from your past? Is it something that you have thought of before? Uh, or do you have like legitimate re reasons? Is it your gut that's kind of telling you, no, it's not right for you? In that case, follow your gut, your solar plexus, your, your powerhouse, which we saw with Archangel Shemuel. This is what they want you to see. Absolutely, Nine of Swords, okay? This is, they want you to not have sleepless nights, but to really think about it, okay? Because you may have sleepless nights, you may have anxiety and fear over problems, okay? And you're not really, um, you're overthinking, but you're overthinking in a negative way when you should just, you're letting the negative thoughts take hold, you know? You ever disagree with somebody and don't really know why it's bothering you that much, and then you lose sleep over it? This is the stuff they want you to avoid, okay? They don't want you to be going down that road. They want you to take the thought, Figure out why it bothers you so much, and then absolutely let it go, okay? You need to let it go. You need to follow the process through, one from A to B to C. It's either let it go, transform, right, with the death card. It's either you get the thought in, no, I don't agree with you, figure out why, and then go, oh, it's because of a false sense of when I was young, and somebody thought me that that was wrong, and but it's not actually wrong, and then you move on. Or it is actually wrong or there's something really bad going on and you need to fix something, fix it, and then move on. You know, you see the, the different points. You can't just like stop at the nine of swords where you're having a nightmares about it. You have to go one way or the other. You're going, 
okay, not my circus, not my monkeys, not my problem, moving on, or my problem, my circus, fix it, move on, okay? And this way you can transform into a being that's thinking about other things, different things, okay? You know, you guys, I really like doing this form of an, of um, introduction, talking through spirit. It also warms me up a lot. I usually do it off camera, but I'm going to do it now all the time here, okay? Because I'm going to show you as well, if any of you are interested in doing this, when you get your first deck, this is how you can have a conversation and get really comfortable with your cards, okay? You pick, I have many different cards, but if you want, pick your favorite one, the one that really talks to you, and then just start talking to it, okay? Start talking in your mind about these things, these questions that you have, and see what kind of cards come out, okay? Somebody asked me in my core recently, I, uh, I asked my deck questions, but I don't like the cards they give me, and I'm thinking, this person is on the right track, okay? Your cards will not always, which is a divination tool that Spirit uses to send out messages to you. You may not always like the messages that they send, but you know what? It's perfect that way because they want you to look at something that is affecting you right now, okay? Remember, Spirit only ever wants the very best for you. And take that as you will if you ever get any type of cards. Now, I'm going to start offering, uh, I don't know if it's this month or next com next month, uh, the Light Sears Tarot. I have ordered quite a few decks, and I think it's a perfect, great beginner card along with uh, the uh, Radiant Wise, I think is great. I learned with it, so just... Okay, just keep that in mind if any of you are interested. Anyway, I just threw that in there. I don't know why. I'm moving on now. All right. So, let's see here. Let's see what else Spirit would like to add to this discussion this morning about different perspectives. Yeah, and I wanted to add that some of you are probably in relationships with, uh, or have been, I've seen the word narcissist a lot in posts of different kinds of different social medias. Uh, you know, if you know what that is, just stay away from it. <laughs> just, just don't, you know, I'm not talking about accepting narcissistic people, manipulators. I've walked away from many a manipulator. People who probably didn't even know they were manipulating, okay? This is all about flexibility, right? Okay, Spirit is saying, just take the time to be flexible in your thoughts. Don't jump to conclusions. Don't have knee-jerk reactions. Take it in first, sit with it for a second, and then see if it's your problem or not, okay? That's exactly what we were talking about. Just be flexible, okay, so that your journey is a powerful one. This tiger to me is most certainly Archangel Shemuel with El in all of his power and all of that yellow in the background. Look at that. He's stepping into that gateway as well, that Andean cross round gateway, okay, the power stepping through it all connects to one another. Just be yourself, okay? You absolutely can be yourself, okay? To all the people who support me, I'm sending out a great big shout out to you. I think you guys are fabulous. You guys are fabulous. The ones who comment every day, who come here every day and watch me, thank you so much. I appreciate it so much. The watch time you give me, the time you give me is uh, priceless. It's beautiful. Shift the way to new potential. Absolutely. 29, 11. That's exactly what we're talking about. You see the green too? Look, the green is shifting into. It's it's from the solar to the heart. It's all kind of linked in together. Isn't it beautiful? And this is this is absolutely right. Shift to new potential. Hello, Mr. Ladybug. I know a lot of you are going to love this. Hello. See, he stopped moving because I put my finger in front of him. <laughs> Could you please? I'm going to be putting cards there. Could you please? You guys exasperate me. Oh, my God. Oh, we're just going to move him along there. Thank you. Okay, so. Right. 
so and I love this there's a spiral there's a nine in there there's a spiral which is associated to the nine it's all good okay these this spiral why is it so important for you to have a different perspective well spirit says it's simple okay just by showing me the nine and the spiral they're telling me that this is a way to shift you to a higher place to being a higher being to seeing different points of view it doesn't mean that you have to be an angel it doesn't mean that you have to agree with everything it just means that you have to have a different perspective sit with it for a minute before you jump on people for their different ideas okay that's exactly it okay? and if you think that I'm criticizing you I'm not they're criticizing me too okay we've all been guilty of doing it we've all done it we've all you know something's come up and we go like no Oh, music. Why did music come out? Hmm. I have the weirdest thought. It's like they're saying, like, just listen to music. <laughs> or it's music to my ears. It's music to my ears. No. How does music make you feel? It uplifts you. It makes you feel... Ah, oh, good. They're also talking about different kinds of music I'm getting. Yeah, we all like different kinds of music. Does it make somebody else's music wrong? No, it doesn't. Just because I like country music and you don't like country music and you may like new art music, uh, rap music, uh, uh, grunge music, uh, hip-hop music, I don't even know. There's all kinds of music now. It doesn't mean that any of one of us is wrong. It's just that we vibrate to a different kind of music. Okay? This is what this card means. It's kind of weird. I felt like it came out of nowhere, but it's not. It actually makes perfect sense. This is a different perspective. If anywhere, music has such a, an impact on our lives. And that's one of the things that we make fun of other people for, okay? Like, I don't, I, I was not, I was never into hip-hop or anything. But, um, you know, I always said, oh, rap crap or something. And people make fun of my country. Oh, country, Blah, you know. They'd, tr they'd always make fun and say, you know, if you listen to a country song backwards, uh, he get back his truck, he got back his wife, he got back his dog, which is I always thought was hilarious. But people you know, jest each other in a very um, light-hearted way when it comes to music. Well, at least the people I've known. And But we all know we have different styles and we have different things, okay? But I have a vast amount of music. I didn't always like country music. I was an 80s wild child, but my husband loved country music. And through the years, I've come to really appreciate some country singers and I really like country I like country songs I didn't always but my perspective was shifted and this is exactly what they're saying don't be so quick to judge and go no I don't like anything about it and then maybe let some of it in sit try it every once in a while it's like trying a different food you know say I don't think I'm gonna like that well did you try it no well how do you know well, I don't know Okay, so reserve the judgment for later. Let the perspective in. Let it float in. See if it, you know, can fit anywhere. Because if you can fit something new anywhere in your life, in the way you're thinking about things, you are broadening the choices. Okay, this is the whole big, this is the big speech from Spirit. The more you let in, to be open to it, the more comes in. Okay, the more you let in, the more it comes in. Right, I'm going to take one of these, or do I do it after? Do I, I'll do it after. Okay, so we need to row now. We need to row. Let's say the lights here. I was just talking about it, so let's do it. Um, I like the muse. Very good. Sitting right there. But Okay. And by the way, the decks I have, they don't, they're not green. I did this green uh, edging. They're just like plain white edges, such as this one. Okay. It's just letting you know. <laughs> just letting you know. But they're beautiful decks. Beautiful decks in a beautiful box. So I have a deck, and I feel like keeping, keeping a box because in case this one. Right. 
tower moments. We had dust this morning. I'm going to take more cards because the tower is always defined by the cards around it. So I want to make sure that I get the right meaning for it. The Queen of Pentacles, right? She looks very, she's into growth, right? The Ace of Swords and the Strength card. Okay, so I think I have enough here. All this is to say that the tower, with the tower moment, you have growth, you have clarity of thought, and you have strength, your own inner strength. All of this, okay, is really shifting you into a tower moment. And the tower moment is your perspective, Pisces. It's the way you're thinking, okay? It's because now you have to go back to that foundation and all the things that, the perspectives that came in that you said no to. You may have to add a few bricks to the bottom. You may have to make your foundation a little bigger now. Because like I said, that represents choice. It represents growth. It represents more focus, more clarity of thought. And it's going to represent strength on your part. Because think about it. Some people may not agree with your new way of thinking or your new way of expanding your perspective. Okay, I'm not saying you're going to say yes to everything. But it's going to shift the way you think of things. Things are going to start expanding for you in a grander scale. It all has to do with perspective. Always. Okay, always Pisces. Right. And when you do, well, you're inviting really good stuff into your life. You're inviting progress. Okay. You're inviting new journeys, new communication. You're overcoming blocks. Okay. And things are going to start moving quickly for you. Okay. So prepare to hold on because this is a good one. This is a good one. Think about it, okay? Instead of you have six offers, but you say yes to only one because you disagree with five of them, but suddenly you switch your perspective and you say yes to four of them, well, that's four more things that can come in for you. And if not one, but two or three of those four offers come back as a definite yes and you have to start working on it, you're going to get busy all of a sudden, okay, as compared to saying yes to that one offer that may or may not come in, okay, or may not uh, go through or just follow through, I would say, right, you're going to have to become adaptable, and that's not a problem for you, Pisces, that's the whole, I, I always say that Pisces is the most adaptable sign, all of our lives we've switched and changed, but this time, this perspective thing, you may think you're just being kind to other people by letting in their different perspective, but it's coming back tenfold to you because that's what I'm saying. You have things, things are going to open up. Your purview is going to like get bigger. Your perspective is going to get bigger. And then you're going to have more choices. And it's all going to be good for you. Not for the world. For you. Right moving away, going on a journey. The Six of Swords is uh, moving on to greener pastures, transitioning, okay? Um, rainbows on the horizon, better days ahead. It's all about that, okay? We had it this morning. This is a double, even triple card. I think it came out earlier as well. I'm not too sure, but I know it's very important. This is an important transition, and that's what they're saying. At the heart of you, this is an open, this, this balancing act, okay, is, is very important, right? It spells victory, the Six of Wands. This is what Spirit is saying. You're going to be victorious. It's going to help you. It's going to show itself. It's going to, at one point, you may even think you're going to contemplate on this. Okay, this is the Two of Wands. You're going to contemplate on the situation and realize how the change of perspective opened up the doors to offer more to get you on this new path where you're going and succeeding. And you're going to go, oh, point A to B to C to D. You're going to connect the dots. Okay. Later on, you're going to connect the dots. You're going, well, why did, Why was I bestowed this beautiful uh, victory, this, this wonderful progress? Because you worked at it, okay? Because you opened up your mind at some point, okay? You stopped saying no and saying maybe and even in some cases yes to different perspectives. Per perspectives. Sorry, my mouth, my tongue is tripping over itself. So... The outcome of this is mm. 
Four of Pentacles. Hmm. I'm going to need another card for that. Again, uh, this is like uh, security, stability. Oh, boundaries, right. Opening up those boundaries is going to bring you happiness and abundance. So this is it. This is protective or constriction sometimes. This is being in control. But, you know, protecting your boundaries sometimes can just leave you closed off to happiness. So they're just saying, open, them, open yourself up, okay? Don't be so conservative, okay? Uh, control and possessiveness, they're sometimes an illusion, okay? They're something that we put in there in place to protect ourselves but you don't really need to protect yourself that much okay you need to go over here and see what's up what's going on okay y you need to go there you can have a method of protection but you can go you can go check this out you can go check that out okay and you can still come back here with your four pentacles and just be happy with that and that's fine but don't close yourself off okay do turn your face. Do look in that direction. Do find something because by opening your perspectives, you may be able to get more. Achieve financial, emotional, spiritual wealth, okay? And all will be well. So, very important. Very nice. This is a very nice reading. Oh, look at that. Seven of Wands. I love that. And then you're going to you're going to get you people around you may be having all of these problems, but you're going to be in your bubble of wellness, okay? Because you can hear it and you can see the stuff and you have no problems with it. But you can just still stay there in your zen, okay? In your opportunities, 3 of Wands, you can launch and do what you want and have harmony and the Ace of Cups. We're just going and going and going. We're good here, okay? All right, Pisces. I really like this. I really like this. I see grace and possibility in all life's challenges, right? Kind of says it all, doesn't it? Grace and possibility, okay? Not no, grace and possibility, okay? Even if it comes in as no, let it sit for a minute, okay? Let other people's views, other people's life choices, boundaries that you've set before, that you don't really know why you set them, question everything. Question everything. Don't overthink, but question everything, okay? Maybe when you overthink things, it's because you set boundaries and you're not sure why, okay? Very important, very important. I will do my best to make the best of it. A key to regaining your feeling of empowerment is to decide, right now, that no matter how good or how bad you're feeling, you're going to do your best to make the best of it. Do again and again in a short period of time, you will find yourself in a good feeling place. And this is what I was talking about. They're just putting into the fact that, is this my monkey? Is this my circus? Where do we go to move forward, okay? I let this perspective in. Why is it aggravating me so? Is it because there is a real sense of injustice here or a sense of wrong? Do I need to fix anything with this, yes or no? If it's no, move on. If it's yes, fix it and then move on. You have the choice to make the best of everything. And that means fixing it or not fixing it to move on to a better, higher, nicer sense of feeling. At the same time, you've gained fresh perspective on all types of different things, Pisces, okay? You may have to go back to your tower, okay, to put more in there, different perspective, growth, and, and clarity of thought, and a lot of strength, because it takes strength to change things, especially building foundations takes a lot of strength, and in this case, inner strength, okay? But, 
things will start moving quicker, okay? You'll make progress. You're going to be removing blocks. You're going to transition them to different place, and you're going to always be adaptable to everything because you're always able to first see the perspective and then make a choice out of the out of the thoughts that you gave it, out of the personal power that you put in it, okay? It's going to bring you victory. It's going to help you contemplate further what you want out of your own life. And it's going to remove this control and this possessiveness into everything that you have and, and release more of an openness where you can get and achieve personal abundance and success. Just like music has different styles and that you're willing to listen to different styles every once in a while, you're shifting the way to new potential. And this is probably the most important card, okay? And I'm going to actually read this one because I like these. I love the sacred creators. I think they're wonderful in the way they put things through. So I'm just going to give it a little bit, not much. This is Light Worker Ignited, a shift in your consciousness, human evolution, the charisma of a powerful leader, the awareness of your thoughts. Aha! Uh, things coming into alignment with your highest purpose, your soul story, and uncovering your highest potential. We are in a time of massive evolution. Old ways of thinking are being replaced by a new awareness, and luminous leaders with novel ways of being in the world are necessary this time. Novel ways of being and novel ways of thinking through perspective. Everybody's, okay? You're being called to lead with your gifts, your skills, your voice, and your spirit, and to gracefully navigate these uncertain yet exciting times. Explore and express your calling, and make the shift into living and breathing your purpose. If your soul feels restless, it's because the progress of the shift, your genius, has been slower than necessary. Know that your shift will be catalyst for those who witness your journey. When we see other souls standing in their power and their luminosity, we are reminded of who we ourselves can be. Shift the way for us, Lightworker. Shift your focus from you to them. And notice that you can do for the greater good of those around you. Your best offering in the world relies on solving a problem for others, on loving others, on helping them shift. It's time for you to boldly step up to help accelerate human consciousness and to leave your positive mark on the world. Have you been feeling the call to change yet holding back? Have What's keeping you from choosing a new path today? How can you best support others as they shift into their very best versions of themselves? What new potential lies ahead of you? There you go. So I leave you with that. I'm going to take that as a personal message as myself. I try to do that every day with you guys. Give you a fresh perspective to, so that you can live a better life. Okay. So remember, you are also a light worker. You lead by example. Whatever you do and start applying in your life, letting these perspectives, there's always somebody watching. Could be children, grandchildren, friends, family. They're noticing how you're handling things, how you're shifting, what's happening. And that's how change begins. And that's how other people want to be like you. Not everybody will. And that's their path. And that's exactly what we're talking about here. I hope you enjoyed this extended Pisces. I did. I found it very, very profound. I always do the extended usually. Yeah. Spirit really like ties me down to this chair and just, yeah, just go for it. And I really feel the energy and the power behind it. And I really love it. Um, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. I'm sending you lots of love and light and blessings. Please stay safe and I will see you in tomorrow's reading. Take care.